In this week's video, I want to show you how easy it is to correct perspective using Photoshop. This could be particularly useful when photographing buildings. Welcome to the Photo Genius channel. Hi, I'm Paul from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel where I share camera and photography tips to help you take better photos. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing for more. I also teach photography here in Brisbane. Visit the Photo Genius website if you wish to find out more about my range of photography courses and workshops. Just click the link up here. So in this week's video, I'm going to show you how I took this image and turned it from this into this using the latest version of Photoshop. Now, if you're not a Photoshop user, but would like to give it a go for yourself, you'll find a link in the description below this video for a free trial. So recently I was given the opportunity to test and review a Tamron wide angle lens taking photos in and around Brisbane. Now wide angle lenses are very popular with architecture and landscape photographers, but do exaggerate and distort perspective. So it's not unusual for buildings to look like they are leaning. Now this is often referred to as the keystone effect and can be easily fixed. Let me show you how. So the perspective distortion that we see here is not just down to the wide angle lens. The fact that I'm shooting from a low vantage point is also having an effect and making the building look like it's leaning away from us. So with the image now open in Photoshop, all you need to do is click on edit and from the drop down menu, choose perspective warp. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see that the cursor has now changed. Click the mouse and you will now see a blue box that has four white markers in each corner. Now next, all I need to do is to grab the white markers and drag them out so that they line up with the four corners of the building. Now it is worth making sure that everything lines up correctly. So I suggest zooming in on the image because as you can see, I need to make some very slight adjustments. Now, once you're happy and everything is lined up, all you need to do is to hit enter or return on the keyboard and you'll see that the blue box turns white. Then simply drag the corner markers and you can stretch and move the image and correct the perspective. It's that easy. Now to ensure that everything lines up and you've done a good job, another good tip is to click on view, choose show and grid. As you can see, Photoshop will overlay a grid onto the image. You can then use this to make any final adjustments and make sure that everything is square and lined up. Now, good news if you prefer to use Lightroom over Photoshop, because Lightroom also has some cool tools that will allow you to fix wonky buildings and adjust perspective. And these are called the transform tools. So with this image of Brisbane City taken at night, as you can see, the buildings are leaning. So all we need to do in Lightroom is go to the develop module and then find the transform panel. Now, if you hover over the sliders, a grid will appear and this will give you an idea of how much adjustment needs to be made. Now, although all these sliders can be adjusted individually, my top tip is to use the guided upright tool. Once selected, as you can see, the cursor turns into a cross symbol. And using this, I draw a guide along the edge of one of the leaning buildings. Now all I need to do is to choose another building, draw a second guide, and the photo will automatically transform. How cool is that? Now don't forget, if you wish to give Photoshop a go for yourself, there is a free trial version that you can download. You will find a link in the description below this video. So I really hope you've enjoyed this week's video. And if you did, please consider giving it a like. There are plenty more videos just like this coming soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos from me. That's about it, other than to say thanks for watching and supporting my channel. And I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya, bye.